Hello everybody, it's Uncle Jimmy once again with Jimmy's Train Station and Travel Adventures. Today we are at the Ro Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania. Now they have different railroad cars here and it's right across from the Strasburg Railroad that you can ride and uh, we're here in Pennsylvania. I have my family with me today, my wife and two kids, and we're going to go check out some of the train museum here and see all what they have to offer. So follow us and enjoy this blog at the Pennsylvania Railroad Museum. All right, folks, we're at the Railroad Museum. Here's a little setup. It's HO scale like I do. I see. Yeah, I don't think there are any buttons, Daddy. I think it just goes... Kids want to push buttons, but there are no buttons. Now, up here, kids, in Pennsylvania, I believe it is, or, or no, no. It was another YouTuber I watched. It was uh, Yankee in the South. They went to Tennessee, I think it was, Chattanooga, and they have one of those turntables like that that turns on the tracks. They got a little set up here. Black bears. Got little black bears. And a hunter. Another black bear. <laughs> Kids get real excited. But this is if you can't see it. Look, this town's all lit up, kids. Right here, these buildings. It's like this is one side of the world, and that's the other side of the world. Here comes a little train around the place. <clears throat> and there's another one. And then just took off with all the people inside of it. Oh, they actually have people in them if you look in the windows. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't. And here's the bridge they were talking about. So you can, what we're going to go up here and see the bridge, which you can look out over all the trains they have. So we'll get a good aerial view of the museum. Looks like you get the Reading Railroad and the Pennsylvania Railroad. We're so high. I don't, I don't want this to be this bridge to break. And over here, there's more trains. I like that one. That one's pretty. The one with the like silver on They also have some diesel, not only steam, but they have diesel ones too. So we'll be going down on the floor and actually looking at some of the trains. I just wanted to bring you up here on the bridge so we could get an aerial view of the whole museum. This way you get a good aerial view of the whole museum. It's really neat. And if you like trains like I do, this is a really neat museum to come to. It's really cheap. Um, two adults was $20 and my kids were $8 a piece. So um, $20 for me and my wife all together and $16 for my kids. So a total of $36 and isn't bad at all. So we'll go downstairs. I dare you to buy a train. I'd like to own a train. I dare you to buy one. So we'll go down the stairs and, and we'll start uh, looking around. So follow us. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> we'll go down on the floor and check out some of these trains.
So here we have a refrigerator car. Right, we'll go over here and check it out. Like this one over here, this would be your uh, luggage car where they put all the luggage on. It's got the big sliding door there. And this is the train I really like, the Pennsylvania line. This one here looks like it's got fruit on it. Fresh fruit. Hey, yo, what up? Hey, yo, don't. Why are you wearing two? Different, uh, this is for ice. This is a tool to pick up blocks of ice. And that's the saw they use to saw the ice in half mm -hmm. for the refrigerated cars. Here we have a passenger train. And you get to actually go up into some of these. Delaware and Hudson. Let's see what kind of... like a storage card. Storing, uh, looks like a bed frame and chair and some Look, other stuff. There's so much room for the little kids to play out here. Look. Oh, the, just run Another little setup. So, <clears throat> this is those scale. This is the biggest scale that you can do in model railroad. This bench here is like the old benches and all the railroad stations where passengers used to sit. This is the original bench. Let's see if we can see this here. It's the way people, folks used to travel across the country by railway. I mean, they still do with Amtrak, but those days are kind of gone. Especially the old steam engine. Big old steam locomotive here. Let's try to get a view here of the inside gives you an idea now we're going to look at the inside where you slept and stuff in the cars it's got a bunk bed chairs to sit on this used to be the way to travel in the old days my kids are really enjoying this there's where you'd sit and have your lunch or breakfast is this the dining train my daughter says it's a dining train Look at the porcelain dishes back then. They were really fancy. Really fancy back in the day. Oh yeah, wonderful way to travel. I'd like to experience that. It's a caboose. There's another big Pennsylvania steam engine. Number 460. This train is a Pullman. That's part of the Pennsylvania Railroad. 
let you get an idea of the front of this big steam engine here. There's a coach that they ride in. Now, that's not a dinner car or anything. That's just a coach that you would sit in and ride. You can go up there and take a look. <clears throat> We can go inside oh, you can? and see what it looks like. I'm not sure not allowed to. Gives you an idea. So I'll meet you guys down on the other side. Okay. They wanted to go through and see what it was like. Little model of a great big model here of a bridge. Uh, I'm waiting for my family to come down on the other side. In the meantime, uh, sit back and enjoy the bluff. So they give you a uh, you can go down the stairs to look up under the train. There's an old wooden I car. See it. I want to see it. You can go down there. So we're going down to check out what a underneath of a train looks like. You can see how the uh, railroad wheels ride on the rails. They actually have a little edge of piece of the wheel that rides on the inside and then the wheels actually just ride on top of the rail with the little pieces against the rail. I'm gonna have trivia questions here. So you can see with this wheel here, how the edge rides on the inside of the railing and then most of it just sits right on top so that's how it works different engineer tools here that they would use to work on the train big wrenches so we'll continue on very interesting if you like trains I just absolutely love trains. Here we are at the luggage car again where they would store your luggage. This one here we're looking at is probably, I would say in the 1800s the way it looks. Kind of reminds me of the, the train the general from the uh, movie where they, the Union Army stole the general train from the south. And that's what this one reminds me of. This one here is called John Bull. And then we're getting over here by the diesels, big diesel planes, or uh, trains, I'm sorry. Part of the Pennsylvania Railroad as well. I think most of these are all Pennsylvania Line Railroad. Big diesels. And these all have the big diesel engines that run on fuel instead of coal like the steam engines. See if I can give you an idea of what it looks like inside, maybe. So that's the inside of a steam.
steam locomotive. Models, but no, oh no, models. these are the big ones. I want you kids to get to see what the big ones look these like. These are super size models. Well, there they do have a Maryland line over here. Western Maryland. We'll take a peek inside of it. Big dining table. This must be like a dining cart. Yeah. Another one. Shows you the different lines of the Western Maryland Railroad. I Here's another great big uh, steam locomotive. <clears throat> Philadelphia line here. The old uh, lantern light they used to have, it was probably gas powered. Matthias William Baldwin. He was pioneering the American locomotive boom. He built the first locomotive, Old Ironsides, in 1832. So that's a statue of him. So this one here belongs to the Cumberland Valley Railroad, part of Pennsylvania, Philadelphia line. These are probably, one like this would be like in the 1800s, I'm sure, or early 1900s. The old wooden cart ones. So as it says, this car is believed to be one of the oldest surviving wooden passenger cars in the United States. So yes, it was probably, it's during the Civil War. So this one here is the oldest surviving, one of the oldest surviving passenger cars and was around during the Civil War in the 1860s. I'll let you get a peek inside of what it looked like. Have an old uh, buggy here, carriage. Horse-drawn carriage. This is part of the Redding Railroad. I see part of the uh, steam engine there. <laughs> this one was probably water steam powered. 1825 all powered by steam folks kids are practicing the handbrakes to show what it takes to stop a railroad so that's how they stop the wheel on the train from spinning here kids see what it's like to shovel coal into us oh cool okay 
Grab your shovel there. Or if there's one on the other side, you, you can see what it's like to shovel coal into the steam engine. No, you're doing it good. You gotta keep the train going, kids. You gotta keep shoving that coal in there. How'd you like to have a job like that? I mean, it'd be it's really probably hot. like a hundred degrees in there, and you're sweating, and you're shoveling coal into the engine, and the fire and the heat's coming out. Think you'd want to do that for eight hours? Probably not. That's the way it used to be. A lot of work, huh? my kids sure this neat museum have a lot of interactive stuff for kids to do and experience so you get to see how the wheels sit on the tracks and you get to roll it down the track ready for three two one let them go oh and that's I'm called sure. a derailment that's okay. when you have a Wait, train I'll wreck. First. I'll go first. Don't put anything on yours, okay? I'll See if first. you can keep it on the track. There you go. No train wreck there. <laughs> See if my son can do it without having a train wreck. Good job. So again, this, this kind of shows you how the wheel actually sits on the railing. It's got this edge here that rides along one side. And then it just rides right on top of the rail. Try your hand up. Down here they got look it's like uh they made like a old railroad station to see what it would look like in the old days. Let's go take a look. Western Union waiting room. This is where you'd wait. You get on the train. Here's where you get your tickets. Buy your tickets right here from the ticket master of the railroad. <clears throat> this would tell you <coughs> the different train arrivals and what time you're arriving and leaving. <coughs> This is a larger, showing what the tickets look like, larger version so the kids can check it out. And so we'll continue on through here. Got a tickle in my throat, I'm sorry about that. That is the telegraph right there. You can send telegraphs. It's kind of like an old fashioned telephone. It would send codes. And they know how to re read what it was. So that gives you an idea what the station looks like. There's the uh, railroad store where you could buy things. A little general store. Shoes, Daddy, a little bit of okay. apples if you're hungry. What, what's in this one? Cucumbers or pickles? Would that be pickles? Nails? That's how they used to sell nails. Brooms. What's in this one? Straw brooms. Looks like sugar or flour. Flour. Yeah, flour. Here's one of the railroad guys. He's probably the big boss of the whole railroad. So you're the one that goes tap, tap, tap with that thing. Meeting tonight. Lift up, it says. Lift Meeting up. tonight, yeah. What's it say? Oh, it just tells you about. Here he goes, a hotel and bar. You got to get him some beer in there. It's really neat. I don't know if we can go in these buildings or not. I think we might be able to. Nope. nope. Yeah, it just gives you information. <laughs> this guy looks like General Lee. They probably got him from a wax museum to 
was General Lee possibly. He's being filmed himself. Uh, he got his own YouTube channel. Photographer. The old kind photo. Oh, there's one over here, Daddy. Oh, look, there's another thing. Look, uh, oh, I just talked to more about the house. This is a house of the time. Looks like they're having tea. They tell you a little bit yeah. of people. Having their own little tea party. Look, kids, having their own little tea party. And they tell, there's little oh, cards here. They tell you about who the people were. Here we go. Here's some more, uh, personally my favorite of railroad models and buildings. Of course it's your favorite. Mm-hmm. My kids them. know me well. This is the biggest scale, too. Oh, look. Donations. Donations. A little town, railroad town. A little train going back and forth over there. Go through. You can go in there and do that, but you can't go in here. There you go. You can build a Lego model if you want. Cool. You this is all Legos? all Legos here. Somebody left their phone here. That's not cool. Somebody left their phone here. Little well, Lego cool. town. Somebody left their phone here. That's, uh, not, that's good. not good. Should we turn it in? Somebody. Have you can turn it in if you'd like. Oh, you don't know if it's oh, one of these somebody's people. calling. Is it there? Did you guys leave a phone? Yes, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> we found, oh, so lucky. We found the people that lost it's their not phone. Kim. It's not Kim. It's not Kim. <laughs> <laughs> little kids well, left so their phone. Hey, Lucky, I called you on this phone. Because they found it. Hey, I found it. Says trains in storage. Oh, you can get the phone. Says trains inspire. It's true. There's Elvis. Had a song called Mystery Train. Johnny Cash, he wrote a song about train, and they had the singer, country singer, Boxcar Willie uh, movie, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles with uh, John Candy and Steve Martin. Movies about trains. So trains inspire a lot of people. Kids are having little interactive things here and running the train. Here's where they would weigh different things um, to see how much it cost. Like here's a clock. 10 pounds, they would charge you so much for each pound. Here we go, a bale of hay. Weighs 50 pounds. There's a barrel of sugar. Let's see how much it weighs. 350 pounds for a barrel of sugar. Have a bushel of apples. 135 pounds. And here it tells you the different trains, like the Reading and the Philadelphia and how much they charge. Like for 10 pounds, it was three cents. 350 pounds would have cost you a dollar 17, which was still a lot of money in those days. We're talking the older days. I have another little setup over here. This be HO scale. set up so folks that does it for today i hope you enjoyed the blog of the train museum uh that's pretty much the museum and i hope you enjoyed that and this has been uncle jimmy with jimmy's train station and travel adventures uh please subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up feel free to leave a comment suggestions of other things you'd like to see hit the notification bell up in the right hand corner to let you know when i download a new video Till then, go out and have your own adventures and enjoy life. Until next time, this is Uncle Jimmy. Goodbye.